In this lesson, we're going to learn how to whiten up and brighten some teeth. No one likes yellow teeth, and even though the dentist keeps telling me that I should check out their white teeth whitening options, I never do, but people do like white teeth. And one thing in Photoshop you can easily do is brighten up those teeth. So open up this teeth.jpg image, and then I'm just going to duplicate it so I have my background object just as in its original form. So the first thing we have to do is zoom in here using the zoom tool, just so that we can see what we're working with. Then use one of our selection tools to select our teeth. So I'm just gonna use the quick selection tool, and zoom in right here. I'm gonna have to get rid of some of that part that is being selected because I don't want any of the yellow or the pink of her gums that is. So I'm pressing option or alt on a PC and clicking where I don't want this edge. So I can go in here, keep selecting. So I'm alt clicking or option clicking. I don't want any of those gums right there. Make my brush a little bit smaller. So that's a little bit more detailed. Make sure I get this little part over here on the left. And then I'm gonna go in to my select and mask tool. If this was with another version of Photoshop, this would be the refine edge tool. For the view, I am gonna go over on white because my background when I just do onion skin is the background itself which I have a duplicate of this photo so I'm just going to use on white then I just want to use the smart radius to try to make a better selection of these teeth something around there maybe smooth it out a little bit maybe just add a little bit of feathering make sure I boost up that contrast so that you hopefully can see what the edge looks like. Then maybe shift the edge just in just a little bit. Sometimes I like to shift the edge in and boost the feathering just a little bit. Maybe the edge needs to go out just a little bit. Turn on the smart radius, make sure that is looking good or maybe not, just leave that off for now. And then click, click OK. Now what I'm going to do is go into my adjustments button right here and click hue saturation. See what happens? The selection of my teeth is actually the selection in the layer mask already. So whatever I do with this hue and saturation layer is actually only going to be affecting the teeth. So let me zoom out so I can kind of see exactly what I'm working with. Then with the hue saturation filters, just click that button right there. I'm going to make the teeth a little bit whiter. So first I want to decrease the saturation. That just automatically gets rid of some of that yellow. Then maybe boost the lightness a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy with it, but maybe something like that. And maybe you know what I have to do actually go in here because we have the inside of our mouth. What I'm going to have to do is brush out that part. So with the brush tool, I'm going to go in here and then with black selected, so just select that black over here. I just press X on my keyboard to select that black. I'm just going to go in here and brush out the inside of her mouth. There's lots of different ways to do this. You could, I've seen people actually whiten teeth just with the brush tool, just overlaying a little bit of white on teeth, but I like using this hue and saturation tool. I think it's a pretty nifty tool. And if I wanted to just fix the ex edges, I can press X with my brush tool and just paint on and just paint on the edges of the teeth. Just make sure I get those edges all in here so that they're desaturating the entire teeth, brightening up the entire teeth, not missing any of the edges that might not have gotten selected with the selection tool. And also maybe getting rid of some of the gums up here that are in there. You can tell with, especially with this hue saturation, when it gets into the gums, it looks a little bit funny when it's just on the teeth. It doesn't look so bad, but when it's on the gum, it looks like there's like toothpaste residue or something like that. So now if we zoom out and we turn this on and off, you can see what this does. Very cool effect, very easy to do. 
and it's something that you can use for a lot of your photos, if, especially if you're taking portraits. A lot of people uh, don't realize it, but their teeth are a little bit yellow just from eating and drinking and doing all kinds of things. So this can help. And remember, this is non-destructive. So we can go back, we can change the settings if we think, oh, maybe we need to boost the saturation just a little bit because you can tell if I drop this down to no saturation and it's completely white, that just looks weird. So you might come back tomorrow or something and see, oh, wait, just a second. I don't want it to be that much, that strong. That's how you whiten teeth in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And you can also do this for whitening eyes. So sometimes eyes, if you want to make it a little bit brighter, maybe you don't want to use the hue saturation, but maybe a brightness and contrast or something like that. But that's one way to whiten the white, brighten the whites of the eyes. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson.